Now, you had this meeting with um, uh, employees at uh, the Port Wentworth plant in which you, Mr. Graham, having gone into this facility, having identified um, a shocking and dangerous facility at Port Wentworth, you made recommendations to the company which they followed. You told these folks that um, if they didn't take some corrective action immediately, then according to your words, uh, some of these folks wouldn't be back, they'd be in the morgue. Why didn't you, Mr. Graham, go to the management of Imperial Sugar Company and say, by golly, if you don't shut this plant down now and clean this up, you're going to have a dangerous situation to occur, which did occur two weeks after you said you made that statement. I did. Why didn't you do that? I did do that. I told uh, Mr. Schepter that we, I was surprised that we hadn't killed anybody already because the plants were so dangerous. I was told that my passion was uh, extreme and I had to temper it. I was told to prepare a board presentation for the end of January, during which I was going to recommend asking for a significant change in the way we operated the plant and I was prevented from doing so. Well, Mr. Uh, Graham, here we are um, six months almost after the incident occurred, and you're still working for the same company that you said you gave that kind of mandate to. It gives me cause to question your sincerity and in, in what you've had to say about this. This has been a very emotional, uh, tragic situation that occurred in South Georgia and is one in which uh, we want to get to the bottom of, obviously, from the standpoint of what happened, but the ultimate result needs to be safety measures put in. And I respect what you say about the fact that you made recommendations to them, but uh, I really have cause to question your sincerity in that, because if you were, I can't imagine after what did happen, and you say you made the statement you did, why are you still working for this company? Thank you, Mr. Chairman, uh, Madam Chairman. Well, Senator Chambliss, I, I appreciate your comments. Mr. Graham, I do appreciate your coming and, and speaking today, and uh, I think it's fair for you to be able to respond uh, to those uh, questions, and I would give you that opportunity. Cool, thank you. Um, <clears throat> all of the conditions I described uh, pre-existed my appointment. My objective today was to bring forth the facts laid out before me so that we can collectively decide what needs to be done to prevent this sort of tragedy happening again. The employees of both refineries and indeed in the industry deserve a safe working environment. And the reason I'm still there is because I believe I can continue to contribute to achieving that goal. And I will be taking OSHA's findings and moving forward to continue fixing the deficiencies so that we can put these people into an environment which they know is safe and clean. And I will continue that, uh, continue to uh, work on that over the next several months. Thank you very much. Um